Guys, got a new color that I'm playing with. First time I've ever fished with it. First cast I ever fished with it. And bam, that's encouraging. I just finished fishing with a new color too today. That's what I'm doing ahead today, trying some new colors. And when I try new colors sometimes, I like to take y'all along with me. It's a little breezy today, guys. I don't have my microphone in. It's been uh, been getting a cracking noise. If y'all noticed the video, so I took it out to see what happens today. There it is. Okay. That's a nice fish, guys. It's about 10 inches. We'll let the little boy go there. This is the uh, this is shoreline belly. Yep. And the top is that brown that turns blue. See how brown it looks there? Now it looks blue, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a, it's a color changing color. Goes from brown, like a green pumpkin brown, to blue. So I got a purple that turns to blue, and I've got this brown that turns to blue. As, as, you, as the light changes in the light. Uh, I've been making bass baits with them, selling them at the local store. I made him, I've got a creature bait, a finesse worm, and a three and cinco. I made it in all those, and he sold them all in a week. <laughs> he told me to bring some more. I haven't made any more, I've been working. But anyway, doing other things. But here we go, I gotta get some more down there. My boat's done got a little close now. The uh, wind's pushing me some, guys. The fish are back there a good little ways. All right, now let's try it again right here. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah, they're right over you. If you don't, if you don't get away from the dock when they do that to you, uh, they'll push you right up on the dock. They don't care. Notice they weren't even looking. Like. Wonder if I'm gonna shake this guy up or nothing? Do I need to slow down? Nah, he can handle it. <laughs> he can handle it. I tell you, man. I tell you what, those small hooks. All right, guys, this is the new color. Like I say, if I get it back there to them, they seem to like it. Wonder what they think it is when it's changing color like that to them. You know. That's a nice fish. He's about 11 inches. Nice one. I wonder what they think when they see it changing colors like that. <laughs> that shore line is, uh, you know, I've done good with my lime color baits. Some of y'all have bought the remelt, lime color remelts, and like them. And some of you have reordered and ordered a couple more bags of them too. I'm about out of those. I gotta make some more of them. If I got some more uh, leftovers, I have to look and see. But uh, look. They, they make a good color. I mean, those two baits together makes a unusual looking lime. It's not a strong lime color, but it's working. It works fine. Uh, I fished with all the remelts before I before I put them on the site, and all of them work just just fine. And I didn't get back or far enough. See them right here. I see one. My bait's right there. They're like, no. If you don't get it on the head, when y'all fishing docks, if you don't have a live scope, there you there you go. I just showed you something. One of them swam out there, kind of looked at it, and turned around. That's it. You can see them right here. I don't see my bait now. I'm, I'm just watching the fish movement. If you don't get it close to them, they're not paying any attention to it. I don't see my bait. I had a bite, and I still don't see my bait. There he comes. Got him. Never seen my bait. I'm just reeling. All right. I caught a couple big ones here on another bait. They all must be about this size here. I'm going to move on. Let's go up here and try check these other docks out. Again, this is where live scope is nice. I can he he wanted that thing. I can ride up through here and just check the docks. If I don't see anything, I just keep on letting it roll. He's a baby. He had me hung up there for a minute on the post. But I wasn't too worried, guys. I got two pound test. I could drag him out of there. Well, a lot of y'all go, two pound test? Yeah, because the cast's easier comes off my spool easier. I can skip further on the dock with two pound. Put six, put the same jig weight. I'm using 148 ounce. You put it on a six pound test, you won't get quite the distance. You can get a few more feet with the two pound test. Small, no, you almost got me. The smaller, that hook's in a bad place. It's in the bottom lip. The, uh, 
smaller your line is, the easier it is to come off your spool, correct? There you go, guys. Nice fish. There you put 11 inches. Maybe 11 and a 16th. No wonder you fought so hard. Now they seem to like this color. That brown that changes to blue, and it made this tail an unusual color, color, didn't it? You know, let's see if we can catch one or two more on it. All right, guys, it's a lot of fun taking y'all with me, yeah? Like I say, people say, Dennis, you make the baits, then you get to go out and, and test them? Yeah, somebody's got to do it, guys. And I do send some out now. I sent some out uh, this week, some of this color, some of the other color. But, like, I put, like, five different colors in a bag, like one or two of each of them. And sometimes I write on there, test color. So that way, when you fish with them, don't go on the site looking for them. If you've got test color on the pack, that means they're not on the site. But you can comment back on the, on the, um, on the YouTube channel. Hey, I got some of those colors you sent me. This one, I like this one, I like that one. They work good. Or don't make them, they didn't work for me, or whatever. But I figure if I can catch a fish with them, y'all can. All right, if I can get two of these fish, they're hard to get to. Here my bait hit the bottom of the dock. It's like hitting a rock. When you skip a rock, you gotta hit and go up. If I don't hit it just right, I can't get it back there far enough. It didn't go far enough. And the opening there is about eight inches. So that, that doesn't help either, does it? Lake's up about uh, six, eight inches, guys. We've had so much rain, and uh, the lake above us is Kerr Lake. They're letting water out of Kerr Lake. And as they let water out, this lake comes up. They don't make power with it. Got it. They don't make power with it here, okay? They make electricity here with it. So they use the same water, I reckon, twice. They make current up there with it, and they make current here with it, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to end that right here on this live catch for you. There you go. It's, it's going to be a good color. I'm really worried about this color, to be honest with you. I was thinking, I don't know if this color is going to be any good or not with that shifting brown to blue. But after making the Grenada bug and having good luck with that Grenada bug, you know, <laughs> it's a brown back. It's a, a, a basically a pumpkin seed color back. Some of y'all bass fishermen, remember the pumpkin seed color? Basically, that's what it is. And it's got a little gold highlight in it, so it gets, it's got a little gold shimmer to it when you turn it. And I think that's what helps it in this in that nasty water. Now, y'all see how dirt, dirty the water is here? It's pretty decent here. It's probably a foot, 14-inch visibility. The creek I live on, it's still nasty looking, like the Grenada bug video was made. Hey, Dennis, Fish Lake Country. See y'all next time.